Good morning, good morning everybody. Matt JJPA here again for you with another video. It is a beautiful Sunday morning, September 30th, 2018. And um, I decided I wanted to wake up. When I woke up today, I decided I want to drop some gems for you. Okay, I plan on watching some football today. But before I do so and get into my Sunday festivities, I was just going to drop some gems. All right, it's a beautiful day. Got the windows open. Um, so excuse the outside noise, but I just couldn't resist. So again, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the studying that I did during didactic year as well as clinical year um, in PA school. So um, as I mentioned before, I like to do a lot of different uh, study guides. I like to, when I focus in on a subject or um, whatever topic at hand that I plan on studying for, I like to do a couple, maybe two to three study guides that are pretty good and pretty solid. Um, and I like to compare them and make sure that the, the information is pretty consistent. I mean, I'm pretty, um, I'm pretty thorough when it comes to like studying um, and I make sure that um, I do multiple, uh, I use multiple resources instead of just one uh, resource when I study. Uh, just to make sure that the information is consistent because sometimes with study uh, study guides uh, that somebody might have made or um, what have you, uh, the information, there might be something that's not correct and it could mess you up on a test. Uh, so you just got to make sure that you do multiple things and compare the information and make sure that it's consistent. So that's what I did. I took maybe two to three study guides. Uh, and then I also use my Pants Pet Pearls on the particular subject that um, I was studying for. And I did that whole section. Um, and then I would do the PowerPoints. <clears throat> I would do the PowerPoints that uh, was presented to us. Now, there are other things that I use. Again, I love to supplement my um, I love to supplement my material, my study material, and I, I like to use different types of resources. So one thing that I happened to come across was a website called Picmonics. Now Picmonics is a website that uses, um, it is absolutely geared towards the visual learner. Okay, A lot of people just need something to see, need some kind of visual to see what is going on with with whatever the material is and uh, they use that in this website to kind of uh, formulate a story or um, something that will help you memorize it visually um, and it might not particularly um, be, ex it, it, it explains what the material is but it, act it, it uses different types of pictures and, and characters if you will um, to try to engraze in your mind, engrave in your mind what actually the subject is uh, to help you remember it later. So um, it is it is a great website and when I came across it it was just a website. It was only on the internet. Now they have an app that you can put right on your phone. And you can pull up uh, you can open up the app and pull up whatever the subject is if you're a PA, if you're a nurse, um, student and you could just go through the subject and just and just go through the stories. They're nice short stories that you can just uh, click on and it'll go through these stories in a way that is visual. Okay and it, and it paints out the picture and I'll show you in a minute. Um, but this is just something that I just I don't know how I came across it. I think somebody in my class might have posted a little short video on our Facebook group. Um, and I, I got curious, and I, and I kind of looked into it, and I came, I became a member of it for for uh, some time, just to use it as some supplemental uh, bit of information. Now, again, it, they do monthly memberships, but you can do it geared upon what you feel like, uh, how much you want you want to study for, or whether it's what level you want to do. You can do different levels. Um, at different prices and it's really not that much. It's very cheap. Um, but let me show you with an example. Okay, I have it on my phone as the app and I just downloaded it. And I still, you know, I still look into it. Okay, so here's the app. Let me go back. Okay, so what I do is 
click on the app and it's pretty easy to use okay this is just something that I already kind of was looking into this is just it's different windows and different screens, but let's just go on right onto a Picmonic. All right, you click on say statins, and a lot of people have issues with pharmacology. All right, you say play, play Picmonic. Here we go. Yep, put the volume up. Play. Statins, portrayed as the statue in this image, are cholesterol lowering drugs commonly used in clinical practice. Statins can cause adverse effects such as rhabdomyolysis the rabbit with muscle and lights, which is the breakdown of muscle cells, and hepatotoxicity, the liver that is covered in the toxic green chemical. Statins function by inhibiting the HMG coenzyme A reductase, a rate-limiting enzyme in the cholesterol synthesis pathway, represented by the HMG hummingbird coin purse and the red duck all inhibited or locked up inside the cage. Statins benefit patients by decreasing LDL, the devil ladybug with the down arrow, and decreasing triglycerides, the triceratops with a tag and down arrow. Statins also increase the good cholesterol HDL, portrayed as the angel hot dog with an up arrow on the top of the image. Okay, and then you can do little quizzes, and it's something like that. Little characters with their names and kind of help you the duck and this and that. Um, sorry, I live in a very busy area. There's trains, there's boats, and it's very exciting. I love it. Um, so excuse the noise. But that's an example of what a pigmonic is, okay? Um, and there's a ton of these, a ton of these, hundreds of these little videos. And you can just pick on a subject and go through a story. And it's, and it's a real, you know, it's maybe up to a couple minutes. Um, so my recommendation, if you're using Picmonics, all right, don't try to remember every Picmonic, okay? I would study for a particular subject, right? Um, you know, do the study guides, do the PowerPoint, and then pick something where an area where you feel you have most difficulty with and you struggle with. And go open up a Picmonic in that particular area that you're struggling with. That way you be able to memorize these characters will just come to your mind and it just it's weird like that it'll come to your mind and you'll just remember um, the red duck and it has to do with such and such um, whatever is the subject is okay you, you get what I'm talking about you get what I'm saying um, it's a great way to, to memorize areas that you're struggling with um, visually okay it's just the perfect thing that they just happen to come up with for the visual learner. The, uh, I, I feel like in PA school, a lot of times they forgot about certain people that learn that, that way, the visual learner. Um, you know, you have people that are tactile learners that just have to do things to learn, okay? Physically do certain things. And that's more helpful in the clinical year. Uh, but when you're studying for a test, and, and especially with didactic year, you have those visual learners that need to see pictures, videos, or um, something that'll help jog their memory instead of just pretty much, you know, reading the material in a book and trying to remember it that way. Um, so I highly recommend Picmonics. If you want to be interested in becoming a member with Picmonics, you can click on the link um, on this video, and you will have a 20% discount on whatever plan you particularly want to use um, when you go on the Picmonics, okay? And I believe you can do a free, a little free trial, uh, but by clicking on the link on this video, you get a 20% discount, okay? Um, and I think, you know, I think it's like 10 bucks a month or something like that. You can get 20% off of that when you click this link. So check it out, all right? That's another gem, study gem, that uh, I'm giving you. Stay tuned for more videos to come. Uh, I'm going to enjoy this beautiful day. I'm going to go watch some football. I'll probably just stay in my, in my place and watch it. But um, I hope everybody is doing well. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. And stay tuned for the next video. Peace.